Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode here at T-Roy Cooks. I really appreciate you joining me once again. We're going to be smoking a turkey for you today on my Weber Smoky Mountain. I'm using some hickory wood, some cherry wood on it. We're going to be cooking about 300 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take a little bit. Um, this is a free range, hormone free bird, straight from Low Bells of New York. My good friends at Low Bells sent me one of their 10 to 12 pound turkeys. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of injection for it and uh, kind of flavor the inside, but these fresh turkeys, man, I mean, fresh never frozen folks they have limited quantities of little bells so if you're interested in having a turkey for thanksgiving you need to order it ahead of time like within this next week here and have it scheduled to deliver a little bit before thanksgiving a few days before thanksgiving or so y'all stick around we're fixing to go get the injection ready and uh i'll show you injecting the bird here shortly this is my homemade marinade right here it's a stick of butter i put in some cajun seasonings uh you know wherever you want to put in there is fine I did use a bottle of this apple cider from Ace and threw about a cap full of this uh, crawfish, crab, and shrimp oil. So we're going to inject this bird up, get you a nice injection needle. You don't have to inject it uh, if you don't have any Cajun seasoning or don't want the Cajun flavors. Uh, just, just use some uh, sticker butter with some garlic and uh, you know just uh, maybe a little onion powder. But what you want to do is just go in several spots here. You don't really need to do the legs too much. Uh, I'm gonna hit them just once or twice. You don't need to do the wings. Uh, but and look at the way they trust this. This is a uh, they, they did this skin back here. So this skin's holding the legs together. I like that. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna finish injecting this. Be right back. All right, everybody. Now the other thing I like to do, I like to take my fingers and run it up under the skin. Um, it doesn't really help to put flavoring on top of the skin all that much. I mean, you can do it for color, like some paprika or something. But if you get the flavoring, the seasonings on the skin, on the meat itself, that's what I like to do. All right, now I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. With this leftover uh, injection fluid, I'm just going to pour it down in here if I can. Okay. Rub all that up in there. There we go. Just like that. And you can also put uh, pats of butter or make you a compound butter with some herbs uh, or just butter and garlic will work. All right, I've got some uh, thyme. Got a little sage, a little rosemary, tarragon, some more rosemary. Uh, that's the aromatics I mentioned earlier that I'm gonna put in here. Just kind of rub them around in there a little bit. Make sure they're seated right. You can put you an onion, some celery, some apple or orange, whatever you want in there. The other thing I like to do, I like to get some cheesecloth. Cover your bird with cheesecloth. And what this cheesecloth is going to do, it's going to protect the skin, keep the skin from getting super dried out and nasty looking. And it's going to let the smoke through. So that's how we're going to get a fabulous looking crust on there, I mean, a fabulous looking skin. In here I've got a stick of butter and about the you know quarter cup or so of olive oil. You just want to pour that all over your cheesecloth. Just saturate it. There you go, folks. All right, and then what we're gonna do is just stick this on my Weber Smoky Mountain, which is right up to 300 degrees now. There we go. We'll flip it around like that. The next time you see this bird, it's gonna be done. Got this turkey done, it took about five hours. Now I gotta tell you, I did take the cheesecloth off of it for like the last half hour, 40 minutes or so, just to kind of brown up that skin a little bit. I parted it out, let me show you what we got. All right folks, here we go, we've got two breasts. We've got the legs and thighs. We've got two wings back over here. It's a gorgeous bird. Man, it smells fantastic. Tell you what, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. See if we can cut us up some of this breast right here. I know Karen's wanting some of this breast. Slice up some of this stuff over here. Huh? Make sure you get your sharp knife when you're cutting this. And I did let this rest in some foil, tended with foil for uh, probably half hour. Let's let Karen try this one. Yes, let's. <laughs> here you go, honey. Mm, nice and moist. It is real moist, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's good, folks. 
Now check that out. Super moist. Super tender. I mean, just falling Very apart. Tender. Goodness gracious. All right, folks, let's check this out. Again, just tender as can be. Super moist. This is some jamming turkey, folks. Outstanding. A lot of flavor going on in there. It's just a hint of smoke. Hmm. That's superb. Where's my towel? Where's my towel? There you go, Keith Bette. Folks, I appreciate you joining me once again. Hope y'all uh, order from lowbills.com. Get your turkey. Make sure you order it ahead of time. Thanks again for watching. Y'all give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Hope y'all try this on your Rubber Smoky Mountain if you got one. And remember, share the video. And when you do, please tell all your friends. T-Roy cooks responsibly. <laughs> See y'all next time, everybody.